What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Today, we're going to be talking about some not so great news for the C8 Corvette and the C8 Corvette Z06. Let's jump right into it. So, like I said there in the beginning, we we're talking about something that's not super exciting, but at the same time, it does affect any of you out there waiting for your cars in one way or another. The very first bit of information we're going to start with here is going to be about the C8 Corvette Z06 and the fact that the deadline for the last customer sold orders is very close. It's coming a lot sooner than any of us originally thought. So if you are thinking about trying to get one of these cars, you better try harder to get it right now because 2023 orders are about to be over. And yes, you are hearing this correctly. Normally these orders end around May or June, but in this case, they're ending in April, and that is April 5th to be exact. So if you do not have your order in by April 5th, you are not getting a 2023 C8 Corvette Z06. Hey guys, I wanted to really quick mention ProClip as the sponsor of today's video. Whether you have a C6, a C7, or a C8 Corvette, ProClip makes the mount that you're going to want for your car. It's an extremely easy to install system that does not require any kind of permanent modification, tape, or screws. It clips in, and it can be removed as easily as it is installed. Like I said, it is a two-part system, meaning that it will have just the arm for the C8 Corvette that wraps around the back of the infotainment system and then you will choose whichever mount best fits your phone to go on the front. The best part, you can actually save 10% just by using the code HPO10 and following the link in the description down below. Like I said, this is a little earlier than usual, but if I had to guess, this is probably because of when GM first said that the allocations for the Z06 were done in November of this past year and then elected to give us one more round of allocations before 2023 started, I have a feeling that's what kind of shifted this whole thing. Now, there are a lot of people out there speculating that we were only going to get around 2,000 Z06s the first model year anyway, and it looks like even 2,000 is probably being a little bit generous. It's looking more like probably 12 to 1,500 at most of these cars are going to be produced in the first model year. So if you are looking for a collectible, it definitely seems like the 2023 Z06 is going to be your car, especially since the 2023 is likely to be the only model year that has this special 70th anniversary edition white pearl metallic and the carbon flash metallic colors available to customize as well. So if you have a 2023 Z06 that is the 70th anniversary edition, that is likely to fetch some serious money in the very near future. Now, of course, this news comes to us from our friends over at the CorvetteBlogger.com. They say, as you know, the Z06 production has been a roller coaster since the first cars started production last fall. We've only had three order cycles for the C8 Corvette Z06, with the last one being in January. There was an order cycle scheduled for February that resulted in zero allocations for the American supercar. And whether or not we'll see an order cycle in March is currently debatable. However, it looks like the customer orders for the Z06 will be coming to an end for the 2023 model year. Basically, if your order is not in by 11.59 p.m. on April 4th at a dealership that has an available allocation, of course you will not be getting a 2023. The article on the Corvette blogger goes on to say that to us, it looks like GM is being cautious about over-promising and under-delivering on those expectations. And they certainly don't want to get into a situation like in 2020, where a massive number of customer orders were required to be rolled over to the new model year, thereby forcing GM to offer price protection to those customers. And honestly, that sounds pretty accurate to me. If I had to guess, that's exactly what GM is trying to prevent because they don't wanna be stuck holding the bill whenever they have to roll any customers over into the new model year. The Corvette blogger goes on to say that those of us who closely follow the production of the Corvette have been trying to guess the end of the 2023 model year. And it's our opinion that we are looking at the July 4th holiday, which is when Corvettes had previously changed model years. That time frame seems to fit with GM requiring final Z06 orders to be placed by early April, and those orders would be scheduled for production in late May and June. So that's the bad news for the C8 Corvette Z06, but unfortunately, the bad news doesn't stop there. We also have a little bit more bad news for just your C8 Corvette Stingray, basically any Corvette being built, because the Corvette assembly plant is going to close next week due to parts shortages again. So if you guys remember, the plant was just closed during the week of February 20th, and now it's closing again 
not even a month later because of the same thing, parts shortages. So again, this information comes to us from our friends over at the CorvetteBlogger.com. They go on to say that General Motors confirmed on Wednesday that the Corvette assembly plant in Bowling Green, Kentucky will be closed next week due to unnamed parts shortages. The work stoppage comes three weeks after restarting from the previous parts shortage, which closed the plant during the week of February 20th. GM spokesman Dan Flores confirmed the closure with the Detroit News saying, quote unquote, our supply chain, manufacturing, and engineer teams are working closely with our supply base to mitigate any further impact on production to meet the strong demand for our products. Even though that isn't the greatest news, there is a little bit of good news here too, and that is that GM is expected to reopen the plant with both shifts reporting on Monday, March 27th. So it will only be a one-week shutdown. Fingers crossed, of course. The article does go on to say that the Detroit News also reports that GM's truck plant in Mexico has also been shut down since March 4th for a parts issue, but it's expected to restart production next week. So it kind of sounds like GM's having some difficulty getting parts all around. Now, obviously we are far past COVID at this point, so it kind of makes me wonder a little bit what exactly the parts shortages are all about here, where the problem lies, and when GM is going to fix said issue so we can start getting these cars built and put out, especially the Z06 and the upcoming E-Ray. Hopefully this issue is solved by then so we can actually see these cars out on the road. And finally, the last little bit of news we're gonna talk about is over at the CorvetteBlogger.com where they actually posted a video of someone pulling an entire drivetrain out of a C8 Corvette Z06. So the engine, the transmission, it all comes out, all because this particular Z06 needed an engine replacement. Now, if you guys haven't been keeping track of this, this is either the third or fourth car that I know of personally that has had to have an entire engine replacement to fix what would other be described as a grenaded engine. So basically a total failure of the engine, which requires it to be completely replaced in order for the car to be functional. This is kind of scary considering, like I said earlier, there's only about 1200 Z06s out there right now. And out of those 1200, four or five of them are already having an issue with an engine. But either way, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. What I'm here to show you is the fact that there's a video actually showing the mechanic pulling the engine out. And I'll put it in quotes because I wouldn't want to do it, but it honestly doesn't look like it's that difficult. So kudos to GM for at least making the process somewhat easy. Like I said, this comes to us from our friends over at the CorvetteBlogger.com. I will link that article in the description down below if you guys are interested in checking out the video and seeing how to take an engine out. If you're ever interested in doing something like that, that's totally up to you. But I did kind of watch through it because it's interesting to see that it doesn't look that difficult. GM definitely put this car together in a way that makes it not super difficult to take it apart, which is definitely a fantastic thing when it comes to maintenance. Or if you ever have to have an engine replacement, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg like it would with your normal supercars. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. I know it wasn't necessarily good news for you guys, but at the same time, it is news. And I want to keep you guys all updated, especially if you are out there waiting to get your C8, or if you're lucky enough to be waiting to get a C8 Corvette Z06. Now you kind of know there is a deadline for these, especially for the 2023s. So hopefully I helped you out. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming that you're not going to want to miss. And as always, I will catch you in the next upload. <laughs>